we're going to conclude it. Hallelujah. Everybody say with me, leave it, leave it for God. I say to your neighbor, leave it for God. It for God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. If I want to say to you this morning, take no thought. Take no thought. Take no thought for what you are going to eat. For what how God is going to bless you. For what you're going to put in your body, take no thought. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Thank you Jehovah. Thank you, Come on, say to your neighbor again for me, take no thought. Take no thought. Say to your neighbor, worry no more. Worry no more. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. I got another revelation this morning. God led me to the book of Isaiah, which I want every one of us to turn to this morning. As the worship was going on. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. There I know the hands of God is upon us this morning. Because when the worship of God was going on this morning, we were not worshiping ourselves, we were not praising ourselves, but we were praising the Almighty God. The word of God is for us, it's not for God. Worship does not belong to us, it belongs to God. Everybody that feels boring when the worship is going on, begin to pray. For strength. If you feel boring. Because it does not belong to you. It belongs to God. You worship God. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody that feel boring when praises are going on, you need to pray for strength. Because it does not belong to you. Have you ever been seeing somebody eating? Somebody is eating his food, his meal that belongs to him. And somebody watching with his eyes. We don't be irritating and feel boring. It doesn't belong to you. He is eating his meal. Put your hands together and begin to come and along with him. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Father. Worship belongs to God. Praises belong to God. When those things are offered with the spirit of God that lives in us, revelation will come down. And I want to bless somebody this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The book of Isaiah, please. Isaiah chapter number 43. That's where God led me to this morning. As the worship was going on. I felt the greatness of God on my right hand. And I saw God say, say to my people, leave it for God. Leave it for me. For you cannot do anything. Thank you, Father. You see, I said to you this morning, any solution you try to look for in every condition you are going through outside God is a double trouble. You try to look for solution to any condition or matters you are going through, physically, spiritually, even in your health, outside God is a double trouble. I'm not speaking right now. Why? Well, because God owns the solution to every means of mankind. You need to praise God, seek God. He will teach you how to praise. You need to worship God, seek God. He will teach you how to worship Him. You want to serve God in spirit and in truth, seek God. As you seek Him, He will release His spirit upon you to worship Him in spirit and in truth. You need a change in your life. Seek God. You need promotion. Seek God. The Bible says for promotion never comes from left, from right, from south, from north, but it comes from the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. Isaiah said, verse 1 of 43 of Isaiah. The Bible says, but now, to see the Lord. The Lord God that, that created thee, oh Jacob. When the Bible said, oh Jacob, he's talking about his own children that he traveled on. He's talking about you that he traveled on spiritually. God gave back to you on the cross of Calvary. When Jesus Christ submitted his ghost, he gave back to you. Thank you, Father. The word of God said, God that created thee and that formed thee, O Israel. 
He said, as you said to you, fear not. So help me to say to two people, say to them, fear not. Come on, say it loudly as you can. Fear not. You, you, don't, you are not with me this morning. You are bending your faith. Fear not. Come on, say to your neighbor, fear not. Come on, say it again. Fear not. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We are going to prophesy together this morning. It's a revelation from God. We have to declare it with boldness. With boldness. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, King of Glory. The Bible says, Fear not. For I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by my name. Thou art mine. Thank you, Father. I am that I am. I change and know. I am that I am.